Of course, that's the one million dollar question. How to deal with competitive disappointment mentally and physically? Um, to start with, I think uh, the first question has to be done or said or asked. What can I do better? What did I not do good enough? What could I have done better? Because I think, first of all, everybody always looks on outside um, answers. The judges, the teachers, my partner, the music, whatever, whatever, whatever. If at the end of the question uh, or the end of the answer is anyhow, okay, it is the judges or whatever, but the first question has to be asked, what can I do to make this different or change? What have I done not as good as today, uh, as I could have done today to deserve this kind of um, result? I think also uh, was, is very important that people go and watch the next round or watch the final if they didn't make the final or watch their competitors because I think often they pack their bags and go away and don't actually ever look how the others compete and look on the floor and not to maybe emulate or copy that but to have an understanding of what it is they they did in comparison to you and what you can make stronger not to beat them with their weapons but with your own weapons um, I think mentally it's very important to stay very focused and clear on the path and uh, any result or any competition is a stumbling block or a forward movement to the greater things which are there for you. And I think that often we get so bugged down by this particular um, competition. And of course, I know that this is important, but I think you need one needs to take it around and take it positive and move forward with it and not linger and be negative with the whole circumstances.